before we get into it, do me a huge favor. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And hey, if you want to buy any of these tools, check in the description below. Let's get started. Alright guys, so the backpack blower is really a very simple piece of equipment, but there are a few things to know. First of all, there is almost always an on-off switch on the handle. A lot of people will sit here and try to start the motor with the switch off on the handle. They don't realize there's another switch right here that's got to be in the on position. So, to start this piece of equipment, what do you do? Well, first of all, you're going to make sure that's in the on position. Then, you're going to look over here and you're going to find the choke on the piece of equipment. Now, chokes on different uh, different blowers are in different places, but there's usually some kind of little lever that you're gonna flip up and will say cold start or choke start or whatever, it'll say something like that. So, in order to start this, you're gonna, for the first time in the morning, you're gonna switch this to the choke on or the cold start position. Then, with the piece of equipment on the ground, you're going to pull the starter. So, what you're gonna do is you're gonna pull it once or twice, if it doesn't turn over, you're going to switch the choke off. You're going to pull it once or twice again, and you're simply going to repeat this process until the engine starts to turn over. Now, a couple things a lot of people try to do is they try to start it on their friend's back. That's just not a good way to do it. Next to note is that the fuel is usually filled in the back. Now, all blowers like this are going to take two-stroke fuel or mixed fuel, so make sure you're putting the correct fuel in your piece of equipment or you will burn up the engine. So all you do to fill this is you unscrew the cap and you put your fuel in it. Now, these guys do not take engine oil. As I said, these are all two-stroke engines, so you don't have to worry about engine oil, but you should keep an eye on the air filter. Now, air filter on most of these is usually a little box that's on the outside of the engine, so right here, We've got a little box. Well, guess what? This is the air filter. So, how do we check this? Well, you're going to unscrew the tabs or pop the tabs or, or do something. They're all a little bit different, but this is your standard echo blower that you're going to find down at Home Depot. So, you unscrew these tabs until the housing comes off. Once the housing comes off, you're going to see a little paper thing like this. So, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to look and see if you can see light through the paper of the filter. If you can't see light, probably time to replace it. Even if you can see light, sometimes you want to replace it. But one good thing to do is simply knock some of the dust out. If you can't buy a new air filter right away, knocking the dust out will help a little bit. It'll get some of that crap out of there, help it run a little bit better. So once you've checked and made sure the air filter is good to go, you're simply going to put the housing back on and pop it, pop it back on or screw it back on, whatever your piece of equipment has. So once you've got the housing back on and you've got fuel, you know how to start the machine, you're pretty much good to go. Alright guys, so once you've got the piece of equipment running on the ground, you're simply going to pick it up by the top, you're going to put one strap over one shoulder, swing it around, grab the other strap, put it on the other shoulder, and guess what? You're ready to go. Now, these usually have some kind of trigger on the handle here. This trigger is going to control engine speed, and obviously that's going to say how fast or slow or how powerful it's going to blow stuff. So, that's about it. Uh, that is how you start and kind of check over just a backpack blower. Just a real quick comprehensive guide. Uh, hey, hope you guys found this video helpful and informative. If you like this stuff, do me a huge favor, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. If you want to check out this blower or equipment like it, check in the description below. I'm going to have links to some quality equipment down there. Other than that, have a great day. I'll see you in the next video.